Hello, I'm going to do a quick video on the Navian tankless water heater. We're going to talk about the dip switch settings and the parameter settings because the manual is pretty vague and I just did a lot of research to figure a few things out and I wanted to share with you all what I've learned. So uh, I have the 240 um, A unit. And all that, all the A means is that it has the internal pump. So this book is pretty good when you uh, actually study it a bit. <clears throat> so the first thing you do is unplug it. And it just shuts itself off. There's four screws to take the cover off. So two on the bottom, two on the top. I've already taken the top screws off, so... I'm just taking the bottom ones off real quick. That one. And this one. They come out pretty easy as long as the Gorilla Plumber didn't put them in. So we got them off. I have two of these. They're set up to service two different parts of the house. They're not in series. So, uh, um, the manual talks about if you have to, one, one master and one slave, and that's not the way this is set up. This is set up just to service two parts of the house. So your dip switches are in here under this rubber cover. So I, you just kind of grab it, pinch it, pull it off. It's soft rubber. It comes right off. And there are your dip switches. So most of my dip switches were set correctly but a couple were, were not. And in your manual, on page uh, 40, what is it, 45 in your manual, it's got all the dip switch settings and what you, um, you know, what they mean. So the first three have to do with recirculation. Um, and whether you have an internal pump or an external pump. So this top box is for an internal pump, which is the A unit, which I have, and right there is the internal pump. So the, uh, the S units, uh, they don't have that pump, and you, you have to have a se separate pump and it gets wired into the system and runs. So these are the dip switches. So when I bought the unit, my plumber said, hey, you know, this is pretty cool because you can do this intelligent preheating and it knows um, how your usage is and it only preheats your, your hot water loop, um, you know, when it knows you're getting ready to use some water. Well, he didn't have it turned on. He just had the, this external recirculation. So external recirculation just means you've got an external loop going through your house and it's going to run your little pump and, and preheat that loop. Internal means it's just going to reheat the water inside the unit. So once I figured that out, I'm like, well, I think I want this intelligent preheating because it's more efficient. So I went in, I had to change the first three dip switches from off on off to on on off. So it's pretty hard to see, but the first three are right there to the left, and I went to on, on, off um, versus uh, off, on, off. So that was the one, one thing I changed. The other thing was we have a well pump. So switch number five is well pump, and if you have a well pump, you turn it on. Well, switch number five was off, so I had to go in and switch it to the on position. So it's pretty hard to see, but it's it, number five's on. Uh, and then everything else was set correctly. Uh, we're at higher altitude, so this uh, switch um, nine was on because we're 2,000 to 3,000, or 2,000 to 5,000 feet, so that was correct. And then the gas type, we're on propane and that was on, so that was correct also. So we got the dip switches all sorted out. Then the only other thing I changed is you, you can go into your, 
this is the other one that's that's on so this is nice I get to show you so you can go into programming mode and you can program your parameters so you hit the up button or the plus button three times one two three minus three times one two three oops I didn't do that right you got to turn it off first my bad so you turn it off there we go now the plus button three times one two three minus one two three plus four times one two three four and you get into the programming mode so you don't want text so you you hit the plus button to get the parameters and hit the i button which gets you into the parameters so the only parameter i changed was number and these are all in your book on how to change the parameters is page uh, 64 through whatever, 68. So the only one I changed was the pre-heat the um, pre uh, output time. So the default is 20. The California uh, title 24 is 5. And I think all this means is how much time your... Um, pump is going to run to preheat your loop and I was you know, I'm trying to save some propane so I was thinking well 20 minutes seems a little excessive so we're going to put it at 10 and see how it goes and if it doesn't work so well then I'm going to come back and change it so this is parameter 12 so all you got to do is hit the up button until you get to 12 Then you hit the info button, which brings you to this to what it's set at. So I moved it from 10 from 20 down to 10. I didn't go all the way down to five. I don't live in California. Um, so you just hit the up or down button and it changes it. So we're gonna see how 10 works for a while. You hit the info button one more time and it kind of saves it. it. Says wait, save. Then you hit the reset and it backs you out. So it backs you to that point, and then you can keep messing with other parameters if you feel like it or you keep hitting reset and it keeps backing you out so I'm back out and I hit the power button and I'm back on and I've reset that parameter so um, took me a while to kind of research all this and figure it out um, but uh, I hope this is helpful and um, yeah good luck